this video, I'm going to show you my favorite defense for the U-Trips offense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. I also want to let you know that today we're talking about the Chicago Bears defense. I'm going to be sharing with you one of my my, my favorite coverage defense in the game uh, by far. It's the cover six out of the Chicago Bears, nickel 245 odd. But if you want to learn the entire two four five odd defense how you can blitz from this how you can um merge all these things together how we actually use this to stop pretty much every offense in the game i would encourage you to join my patreon and my patreon is a membership it's a ten dollar per month membership that is going to allow you to be able to get unlimited access to every guide that i release over the course of the season so we've already released 11 ebooks the two four five odd is one of those uh, of the 11 that we've already released we've got more ebooks on the way as well so if you want to learn all of that stuff again be sure to join the patreon there's a link in the description below you can join for just 10 bucks and you can cancel your membership whenever you would like to <coughs> okay uh, let's talk today about the U-Trips offense. I think U-Trips is one of the more difficult offenses uh, to consistently defend because it's a very awkward formation. And, um, you know, that being said, we're going to be utilizing the cover six. Now, the beauty of the, the way that this defense is going to work is if you take a look here, one of the things that I think is very beneficial um, specifically about U-Trips is that it gives a very good alignment um, in terms of how it's going to be able to pick up pressure and all of that stuff. So on that hand, you know, very, very good defense. However, there's some things we can do, some little things that we can do to make this relatively effective as a coverage defense. So what we're going to do is we are going to press coverage. I like to pinch my linebackers, and then I'm going to crash my D-line up. I'm going to QB contain, and I'm going to back off that solo receiver, or that, I'm sorry, that trip side receiver. The reason I like to back him up is because I think that in, in my opinion, U-Trips, one of the best things that that offense does is has some really glitchy fade routes on the outside to that, to that trip side receiver. So I want to back him up so he doesn't get bombed over the top of the defense. So this is kind of like the base look that I like to utilize. The next thing that I want to do is I want to take this three-rec hook defender, and I just want to move him down to this area right here. The reason I like to do this is because this is going to kind of signal um, the opponent that I might send some pressure off this edge, okay? You don't have to move this guy here, but I like to just to kind of give the illusion that we might send some pressure off that edge, and we will send that some pressure every now and then. From that point right there, I'm going to stand kind of right here with my user, and what I like to do with this linebacker is I like to man that as blitzing, I like to man him up on the running back. I think that the running back is the most important player in the U-Trip scheme. Um, whatever, we need to have him manned up as best we can, try to defend that. Um, and really what we're going to look to do is our lurk. We're going to open up here, and then we're going to look for a crossing route. If the crossing route goes from left to right, we're responsible for it. If the crossing route goes from right to left, then we need to receive the crossing route from the um, from either the three rec or the inside quarter on the right and be able to carry that to the sidelines. So we're basically looking for crossing routes, and uh, we're just going to show you the first play here this is y option wheel one of the better plays in the formation especially if they motion this guy to the left but i just want you to watch how this defends the alignment really does help us a lot uh, so we open up okay we're going to go all the way across with that post as you can see that is the number one player that we can we need to be prioritizing if that guy goes to the post we need to be taking that in coverage um, now occasionally what you'll find is you might get a setup that looks essentially like this um, where we do you know maybe something like this and you know maybe we do like a, a post over the middle you know something like this right uh, and we go ahead and we set up our coverage we kind of move this guy down what I like to do an easy way to get back on your user is just click one stick to the left and then you right in here just like this right so they motion here and now there's no now the crossing route is essentially a slant. Well, if it's a slant, you know, we can easily, um, that three rec is going to typically take that slant. Now, I will say right there, we did get a pretty good break of the coverage. But, again, that three rec should receive uh, the slant route. So, again, let me just show you. 
kind of what I'm getting at. So I'm going to move this guy down, okay? Do that simple adjustment. Now I'm back here, okay? Um, so if I if I go back and I take R1 and I put him on a slant, I got a corner route to the backside, and then maybe I do like a skinny post or something over the middle. And let's just say, you know, I block the running back and we run this play. What should happen is that we should receive the slant. Like, and, and you'll see here the corner route gets taken. The slants, I'm going to kind of carry that slant just in case. But again, because my primary goal is, is there any cross routes? Now, if there's, a, if there's something, a corner route I'm not super worried about. Like a soft squat is going to be over there. I'm not too, too worried about a corner route to the short side of the field. Um, and what you can also do with this if you want is you could always feel free to cloud flat or hard flat that left side guy. Now, if I hard flat there, then yes, I'm going to be worried about it. So if there's a corner route, let's say, for example, they run curl flat and they just motion over uh, this guy, okay? And if they both, I'm op remember, I'm opening up to this side. So I'll open it up. Oh, I'm opening up and oh, I see a corner, so I'm going to go take that. And then now they have to check down over here to the curl flat combo or whatever. So to me, this is probably the best way to defend trips tight end, or I'm sorry, U trips. And then again, if I go to curl flat, for example, I uh, just want to show this real quick. You know, again, I've got this coverage here. I've got this here. Uh, whoops, I made a mistake. Remember, I want to hit circle, hold left on the D-pad, and then I can go up right into this area. So now I'm going to go curl flat. So I'm opening up here. Okay, now I'm looking to receive a crosser. There it is. I'm going to receive it and carry that all the way across the formation just like that. So the curl flat concept it does a really good job of defending. The one thing I will say is that I like about moving this guy over here is if that tight end runs to the flat, like let's say the tight end runs, um, let's say for example you get like a, uh, this is a very popular route combo. So they'll do an out route to the tight end. You know, maybe they'll do, um, I'm trying to think now off the top of my head, you know, maybe they'll do like this curl flat post and, they'll do like that and then you know maybe do something like that to the back okay something like this okay very popular concept from trips tight end i want you to watch how the three rec will defend the tight end out route because we gave him outside leverage he's going to take away that snap throw and then the quarter flat is going to basically latch onto that and then again as you see again our primary thing though something that's really important for you to understand is if no matter what, we're always opening up to this side, okay? And I like to stand kind of right here, right? And then I've got this back manned up. So I know, like, if, they run the, if they're going to run Y option wheel, I'm going to concede that running back flat route late. So I'm going to open up to the side, and you'll see right here, they're not going to want to throw because my user is opening up here, and now I'm going to come back over here with this as best I can, and that's pretty much my lure. And I promise you, if you shut down Y option wheel, you're going to really give them a hard time. You just got to mentally understand that your responsibility is the crossing route. If, if there is a crossing route on the field, that is 100% your responsibility. Obviously, we can scheme around it. We're not going to run cover six every single play, although I really do like the cover six. We can occasionally, if they're running a lot of blocked running back, then we can go ahead and just send, instead of manning him up, We'll put him in a vert hook. And then now we've got a really good zone over there to kind of open up for us. So now all we're doing is really working this crosser. If we see a crosser, we're going to go take it, as you can see, and be able to slow it down with our user. So if you want to learn the rest of this defense and how I like to shut down U-trips, trips tight end, bunch, bunch tight end, pretty much every meta offense with one or two different types of coverage schemes, I would really encourage you to join uh, my Patreon membership. My Patreon membership is 10 bucks a month for just $10. Remember, you're going to get access to unlimited access to every ebook. We've already released 11 guides. The 245 odd is just one of 11 ebooks that we have over at the Patreon. We have four offenses and seven defensive guides. So I would really encourage you, if you've not picked up the Patreon, go ahead and pick it up today. Again, it's just 10 bucks a month. And remember, you can cancel whenever you'd like, so no pressure at all, guys. If you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description. Click that link that I put down there for you, and we will see you guys over at the Patreon.